For our final story, we visit the studio of artist Annette Hoekstein on Highway 78 north of Battle Lake. I got into Mosaic because I was a member of Art of the Lakes and at the time we were looking for a community project and I was sitting at a board meeting and they said, does anybody have an idea for a community project? And I said, yeah, I think we should do a community mosaic. And so they asked if anyone has had any experience doing mosaics and I said, well, I've done a vase, but that's about it. And so uh, they gave me permission to do a huge community project with that kind of experience. So then I felt like- On the like side of the Emporium. Yeah, so then I decided that I needed to try something else, and that's when I made my first mosaic, which was, I think, four feet by six feet. I started big, and because I had to see how it would work. And it worked out quite nicely, and it's still hanging across the street, and um, that's where it all started. What's this project? Well, this is my latest idea, which is to make glass vases with... A mosaic on the front. Um, initially I was thinking of covering the whole vase and then my son said that maybe I should just cover the front and then I so I tried that and I really like that look. So now and the reason I'm making these is for studio tour because people sometimes are looking for a three-dimensional item or a functional item rather than just something to hang on the wall and I really like doing these because they're a little bit smaller and they don't take quite as much time and then there's more variety and I can move on to different subject matter without working quite so long on one piece. But, um, I only have one base here so now I'm making some in advance and I'm holding them together with tape oh, and eventually clever it's between the pieces. It and, almost gives it a stained glass look. Yes, it does. And I'm also using clear glue to adhere them to the glass rather than um, if I do a two-dimensional piece on cement board, then I just use thin set, which is cement. So you can't see through that. But if I use the clear glue, and if there is a clear piece of glass, then you can see the light through it. Oh, and it nice. really adds some different look to it. Very neat. <laughs> Explain a little bit about what it's like to work with glass. We see all these tools and... Well, I buy sheets of glass at a glass supply store. And the, this would be an example of some of the smaller sheets. And I also buy larger ones if I get a good deal on them. But, um, and then I use these and cut them down until they're small scraps. And then I have my little bucket of tiny scraps that I'm hoping to use some of on these vases. And, um, so I used to use different uh, materials for tesserae like china, different anything I could find but now I've kind of gotten to the point where I only use glass because I think glass is it's more durable and and I love the color choices and color variations and the textures and the finishes and some glass comes with an iridescent coating which I'm very fond of working with oh, beautiful. I don't know if you can see it on this this is a coaster that's not finished yet it hasn't been grouted oh that's a but, neat idea to make too yeah mm -hmm. you do big things too like mantle uh, I did a fireplace and I have done a wall for some people that was in their kitchen and they just loved it. Um, yeah, I, li I like doing houses and interiors and but I don't do that so often because it takes so much time and then uh, there's quite a demand actually for smaller things to be sure. created so I spend a lot of time doing that too. Sure, mm -hmm. neat. And every I, I don't have trouble selling things, but and I always joke that I sell them as fast as I can make them, but then that's not saying anything because it takes so long to make them. <laughs> <laughs> One of those, I generally spend about two weeks 
working on. That's beautiful. Looks like it's even got mirror pieces in it. A little bit, yep. The yellow is mirrored. This is a uh, my rendition of the grain elevator in Battle Lake. Oh, that is great. I love it. Mm -hmm. I recognized it right away. <laughs> that one took a long time to make. Oh, it's beautiful work, though. This is an image of the row houses in Bergen, Norway, the wharf. And uh, I've had a lot of demand for this one. And I have made a couple of them, too, now, I think, that look very similar. But I don't think I like doing that. So I have now decided that, that would be a good subject for these vases. Sure. And so... And if I, people want, they can buy several vases to go together. That's great. great. <laughs> All the different colors. Yeah. That's what I'll be doing now. Oh, that's great, Annette. Good idea.